Okay, so this video is going to be something for a little bit more advanced people. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. So the video is actually going to be for what to do after installing headers. Um, your oxygen sensors will not act the same once you install headers, but most vehicles, even if you don't make changes, you won't really notice. So typically with headers, uh, you start by lowering the proportion, proportional airflow. Okay, so this is... Sorry, so proportional airflow, okay? So we are, this is a base adder, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to typically, we're going to lower this by 95%. Okay? After, the, after that, we need to find the, sorry, integral delay. We are going to increase the integral delay in the airflow mode by, we're going to say, 20%. Now, these are base numbers, but these numbers uh, I've used, and they work great. Then we need to find the proportional limit. Let's see, proportional airflow mode, proportional idle threshold. It doesn't look like this has a proportional limit on this exact one. Uh, typically, we want to move the proportional limit down to 1.25. We are not going to... So, so the, it could be the same as the maximum adjusted value here, 1.25. But if you do, if you are able to find proportional limit anywhere, set it to 1.25, give or take, because it'll help clean up the drivability. Now, obviously, things are affected uh, specifically by this. Now, this is typically if the oxygen sensors are. Um, farther down the exhaust stream like when you add long tube headers so let's go over kind of what we changed here closed loop proportional base versus airflow um, this controls how much fuel is added but also controls how quickly your oxygen sensors switch uh, in other words it, it's attend it is about how fast fuel is going to be added or taken away the integrator delay is the time period that is required for the exhaust pulses to get to the oxygen sensor, um, which is this, that's a pretty big deal as well. Um, and then closed loop proportional limit. Uh, but lowering this number will help to control the amount of fuel that is added and taken away to, propo to promote O2 oscillation better. Um, None of these numbers are just specific, which is why we like to use the percentages. The percentages seem to uh, do the best work. Um, is this stuff needed when you do headers? Not necessarily, but it will help a lot. Um, let me see if I can open up a Gen... This is Gen 3. Let me try to open up a Gen 4 file uh, and see maybe if we can find some of these tables a little bit better. So, let's see... What did we change last time? We changed um, first proportional base airflow. So here's the limit. Okay, here's that proportional limit that I was talking about. So let's move this to 1.25. <laughs> and we scroll up here. Um, we don't have proportional airflow, uh, but what we do have is we have. Um, this base airflow okay so what we're gonna do is determines the duty cycle of the personal line during low flow blah 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 um, we are going to take and we are going to reduce all of these by five percent this this and this okay um, what else did we change on that last one so we changed the integrator delay let's see if this has the integrator delay it does not look like we have integrator delay. Let's check a look here. This table sets the delay after startup. So this is a little bit simpler. So you want to do the airflow here. 
which is a reduction of 5 to 10 percent um, and then you're going to want to set the limit for proportional correction um, this by itself should be enough to help uh, the oxygen sensor situation with having them farther down the exhaust stream. Now, oxygen sensor readiness. Uh, typically, you can add a little bit of time here uh, to also give them a little bit more time to heat up because they are farther down the exhaust stream. You know, I apologize if any of this stuff's a little bit confusing. I don't do this all the time, so it's not on the top of my memory. Uh, but uh, we're going to try to make one for Hemis, uh, which is a little bit harder, uh, but we'll be doing that next. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me.